We got 580 acres in this batch we're gonna do today. Shouldn't be a big deal. Dennis just had one of his drones go down in the wheat. So when it's going to the field, you know it has to come to 12 feet. And if it's already going, you just start slowly pulling it down. That way, when it is ready to spray, it's right there. Guys think that these drones can't cover a lot. I'm here to prove you wrong. They can totally knock out big acreage. Like you see here, just big, big fields. Right there it is. We just pulled up to the first field. We're gonna knock this thing out. We got 580 acres in this batch we're gonna do today. Shouldn't be a big deal. We just pulled up to the first one. Looks sweet. We're gonna get rolling. I build the fields to be the most efficient running long run. You might spray the same way the farm with plants. Like this one, it'll run like that, but sometimes you build them different. I just want to make sure that it's nice and tight because of how nice it looks. I want to do the best job we could do for this guy. What we're really spraying for is the onion, the wild onion or, or the garlic. Because he said what happened is if you don't kill it now, it'll grow up and it'll mature and it'll have a head. And when they go harvest that head, they'll, they'll smell that in the wheat and then yeah. They knock it. We just got to our first field. I'm gonna be helping Dennis on this first field, just trying to get him comfortable on the systems. It's just a system, it's learning how to use the system. Once uh, a guy gets the system figured out, it can be really fast. Guys think that these drones can't cover a lot. I'm here to prove you wrong. It's an urban legend that never happened. We're gonna show Dennis how his drones operate. He's gonna be set to go out here and cover hundreds and maybe thousands of acres in a day. We're gonna get these things set up and we're gonna get them launched. Now start pulling it down. So when it's going to the field, you know it has to come to 12 feet. And if it's already going, you just start slowly pulling it down. That way, when it is ready to spray, it's right there. Now here, because it climbs, you might want to watch this right here. You see it's nine feet. Yeah. Just bump it, you bump it, you bump it. You're just helping it so it don't stop on it. All right, we got done with this uh, 100 acres. Dennis is just wrapping up. Taught him a couple tricks of how to get his drones into the fields faster, be more efficient. I'm telling you what, there's some tricks to it. Just knowing those things, you will become more efficient and you will be able to spray more acres. So I was helping Dennis on that. We got this 100 acres knocked out. I don't know exactly how long it was, maybe an hour or two, something like that. We're headed to the next one. We still got another 400 to go today. So let's keep on rolling. It's midday. Dennis just had one of his drones go down in the wheat. But dude, luckily enough, it wasn't full and he was able to go out there, change a prop, and he's got that thing back up in the air again. We're still out here working on this wheat. I know this whole video is probably like super short for you guys. This is one of the first big runs, one of the first big batches that we're doing. We're out here trying to get a couple little corks and tweaks and that type of thing figured out, but we're getting it dialed in. These drones are out here just getting this stuff laid down. I'm telling you what, if you think these drones can't spray, you're sadly mistaken. Stop it. Get some help. They can totally knock out big acreage. Like you see here, just big, big fields. We got one drone over here working. We got another one over here working. Tell me what, guys, contact us if you're looking to get a uh, drone spray trailer or you want to buy a drone yourself. Get a hold of us, newwayag.com. We'll try to get these guys hooked up.
Okay, folks, we are just getting wrapped up. We did well over 500 acres. It, we still got plenty of daylight left today. We could do more, but that's all we got for today. Dennis is wrapping up his last pass here. We're going to call it a day. We're going to get everything wrapped up, and then we're back on the road. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.